Yeah, Gary, the guy who always buys his stuff, he bought us another bottle. Awesome. I like you, Gary. You're a good guy. So let's try it out. Let's do it. Welcome to Tavern on Tap. I'm the Gnome. This is Eli, and we're here with another fantastic bottle that somebody gave us. <laughs> Huge shout out to Gary for going to the Bahamas and bringing us back some rum. Uh, we we appreciate it a lot that you would literally travel to another country just to bring us back yeah. a bottle of alcohol um, and make it a family trip. We know yeah. what the true family is. We us. we know we know it's about us, and we we are very <laughs> grateful for that because now we get to try this absolutely amazing bottle of rum. Yes. Um. So funny story about this. Gary actually went on the trip a long time ago, and I put the bottle <laughs> down in the void that is. The, where I store these bottles and I could not find it for the life of me forever until I tripped over it while I was trying to get it to the because there's tons of bottles in the room right next to us and uh, yeah <laughs> I found it uh, so you'll be seeing more of this bottle because uh, I promised that we would do a bunch of stuff <laughs> yeah and this is this is pretty good rum from what I've heard yeah uh -huh. uh, I think he bought it because it is Ricardo um, my it's, real name is Richard. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that's why. Richard Gnome. Uh, Gnome. So, so it's <laughs> one liter. Apparently they only do liters. That's pretty cool. <laughs> just... Most of the label is pretty unreadable, I'm going to be honest, because it's a, it's like a, a brass colored label with gold font, and I, I just can't read it. Apparently, it's an anejo, which they follow the same rules as tequila, so I think it was aged for a year, maybe a little under three, if I'm not mistaken. What he told me, uh, so this is what he, he he got in the Bahamas, and yeah, so it's been aged for about a year to three years, if I remember what he was saying correctly, and looks delicious uh i love rum i am also very much a rum person as i am actually a pirate that pretends to be a normal person <laughs> so it's 40 it's, it's an 80 proof so it's 40 percent, and it is a very pretty amber color yeah it is a gorgeous amber. now if the light stays on you'll see the gorgeous amber color yeah. that is in here and it's got the good old college screw cap classic <laughs> oh gosh i almost dropped it that was a uh, neat trick yeah, I'm like that dude that puts shit in jars. <laughs> oh my god. We hit 500, we can curse now. <laughs> oh, okay. That's right, by the way, we hit our 500 subscribe mark. Uh, so what that means is uh, Richard and I are going to buy each other a pretty decent bottle of something we think the other person is going to like. Hopefully it either ends in comedy or tragedy. Um, Those are the only two forms. Yeah, only two. It's the only way this is possibly ever going to work. Well, I would think the comedy comes from a tragedy. <laughs> Let's hope we can. I mean, just the comedy would be all right too. It doesn't have to be terrible. I mean, that, uh, Dante's Inferno, the Divine Comedy. Ah, uh, yes, hilarious. <laughs> you can check that out by looking at uh, all of our other videos. Yeah. We have a lot of bad videos. Although we do a two hundred dollar uh, bottle and then we'll do a four cent bottle. It's 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 so true. It's it's hilarious. Mm, Boy, that smells like rum. Yeah. They made a nice little like it's got some legs. Yeah. It does smell a bit like alcohol. Yeah, it does have a little bit of that like um you know, you said it one time, the, like, sheen in a parking lot puddle. Yeah, that, now that, I always that oil that. slick. It's, it's thick. It's yeah. A, it's, it's not very viscous. It's very clear, too. All right, let's give it a try. Yeah. There we go. Maybe it is viscous. I had that wrong. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a piece of candy. <laughs> oh, damn. That's delicious. That's really good. That's uh, so good. I would think this is a liqueur because it's very, it's pretty sweet. Um, it tastes like butterscotch. It, it's like, it's like if you added a little bit of spice to a butterscotch candy. This is amazing. It's got like a little funkiness at the end too. That's okay though. Mm. There's a lot of vanilla in that. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is. This is amazing. This is this is one of the best this? rums I've ever had. <laughs> this is so delicious. Um, this is a really great rum. 
if you are not a big spirit drinker, but you don't want to drink something too sweet. Yeah. Like, it, it is, it's, like, not sweet, like, it's not, like, sweet, like, I just had a handful of sugar. Yeah. It's, like, sweet because it just reminds me of sweet things. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, this is our third taping. <laughs> We're going places. We're not sure where, but we're going places. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I would I would own this. Uh, yeah. Can we get this in the States? I have no clue. I would look for it. Hey, let us know in the comments if we can get this in the States, because I, I would be interested. Or if you go to the Bahamas and you want to get this, <laughs> bring it yeah. to the States. New Orleans is a port. You can, you can stop up here. Yeah. <laughs> we're here for uh, it, but This is delicious. I think it would be really, I think it's really fantastic in cocktails. Um, the drink that we are going to do on the show is the Bahama Mama is what we're going to do with this. So keep your eyes out for that video as we show off some really cool stuff. And this is fantastic. I'm enjoying it. I would As you enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. I like rum. <laughs> and if you enjoy us, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There's also some cool merch down below. Uh, cartoon versions of us is amazing. I also like this jacket because it's getting cold now. And... Also, make sure you, that you know that the tavern is always open. Cheers. I need one catchphrase for all the shows. All right, Art Blooper Reel, what's our catchphrase? Because <laughs> it's tip your bartender, tavern's always open, shake it up, pour it out. Ah, another one. There's too many catchphrases. I'm like a pro wrestler.